I'm Kemme Chudari from Ethiopia. I'm a PhD student at Academia Seneca and doing my research work under the supervision of Professor Owen Chung in Institute of Chemistry, Academia Seneca. Today, I'm going to share with you my research work on hydrolysis of cellulose to vapors using carbonation solid acid catalyst. Cellulose is the major component of biomass and it constitutes 40 to 50 percent on dry basis. It contains glucose monomer that is connected by glycosidic bond. Since most of the bio-based products are obtained from glucose, the conversion of cellulose into glucose is the primary step in biomass utilization. Also, several catalytic systems have been established for cytrolysis of cellulose into glucose. There are still a big research gap to be improved. So herein, for the first time, I used peat-based carbon material to design a novel carbonaceous solid catalyst for the hydrolysis of cellulose into glucose. First, I borelate the carbon material using borelating reagent, followed by sulfonation in order to introduce the boronic acid and sulfonic acid. The functionalized material was thoroughly characterized by infrared spectroscopy, X-ray absorption spectroscopy, solid state carbon-13-MR. Further, the amount of acid site introduced during the sulfonation has been quantified using acid-based titration using auto titrator. The catalytic activity of the developed carbonaceous solid acid was evaluated for the pretreated cells under mild reaction temperature. The results show that the boronic acid containing sulfonitary catalysts show high catalytic activity and compared to and compared to the monofunctional solid acid catalyst such as Amberlist 15, our catalysts show high catalytic efficiency to produce high yield of glucose. This is attributed to the presence of boronic acid, which is able to react with the cellulose, hydroxyl group of cellulose, so that it will improve the hydrolysis rate and glucose yield. Further, as one of the attributed attribute of heterogeneous catalysts, the catalyst is found to be recyclable and reusable for subsequent reaction, and with only little activity loss after the first run. This indicates this is the case that this material with further improvement is promising for the future solid acid catalyst. This is all about my today's talk. Thank you for, for listening. And if you have any questions, comments, and suggestions, you are welcome. Bye bye.